Hi, it's Nick Jovis from the More Clients Academy at Marketing for Solicitors. In this video, I want to show you how to do keyword research using the, the tool I recommend, which is Ahrefs. Um, and the first thing I'd say about Ahrefs is that it's um, charges a monthly fee. Uh, you might not think that you're going to need it or you might not want to buy it. Um, but all I'd say is buy it. Um, it's a monthly fee. Don't sign up for the subscription if you're not sure use it do all the keyword research you need to for your website and then you can cancel so you can pay one month's fee um, use it all do your keyword research put down all your results into a, a google sheet or a spreadsheet and then you can cancel um, for me you know currently it's around 80 pounds 80 dollars a month um, for for one site i pay i pay a lot more than that because i use it on all sites um, and for the value it gives, I think it's well worth it. But if you're worried about spending that money on it, um, as I say, do your research and um, and then when you've done all your keyword research, get rid. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is keyword research for um, a website for the service pages. Um, and I make the distinction because the service pages on your law firm website should be targeted um, for obvious search terms, which I would say should include the word solicitor. Um, when you're doing blogs and articles and different content, you can go for longer tail search terms, but ultimately you want to try and go for um, a search term including the word solicitor. So if we come back to um, the site that Niz kindly let me look at, and let's look at her work accident claim page. Um, a couple of things I'd say is firstly, the URL up here is under accident claims. What you'd do is um, if you're starting from scratch and it's not often ideal to change this once you've done it, but the site structure you would have here, um, the keyword for your work accident landing page, whatever we choose that to be in a minute. Um, so let's go through the process of doing that keyword. We look at, set, take the word work accident. You go to keyword um, explorer and you type in work accident, which I've done here. Um, and you come up with your search results. Now these on the in the questions would be good blog titles. Can look at them on another occasion um, but for the, the the main term we want to look at these and find something that has the word slister in it for the service landing page and so um, let me explain what all the parts are you can sort by type of words so you can actually say okay i want to sort by lawyers anything the word lawyer or lawyers or we could do the same with the word slister um, i could do that in a moment um, but uh, to explain the columns here Keyword, obvious, that's the search term basically that we want to rank for in Google. KD is keyword difficulty, as it says there when you hover, so all this can be explained. Um, and keyword difficulty, as you see, they're color coded, so anything below 20 is green, meaning most sites should be able to get there if they do the work right, put in the right title tags, description tags, have enough content on the page, answer the questions that people want to answer when they go looking for access and works listers. Um, volume is how much search in the UK. Make sure you've got UK selected up here. Global volume across the globe um, and the other parts you don't really need to worry too much about. It's basically saying for this keyword, the volume is 2000, but with associated keywords, the, the volume is could be as much as 5.2K. Cost per click, <clears throat> you can ignore. Not found um, the tool to be very good for, for Google Ads, um, but it's it's definitely good for the organic stuff. So let's do that sort. Like I said, let's go looking for um, solicitor. Well, that's only it has only pulled up solicitor, so I want solicitors. Um, is that on here? There it is. So accident works solicitors, um, we've then got some really lower volume ones where we start to bring in town names. Now, um, you might say, well, this firm's based around the, the sort of Bristol area, Southwest, should we be getting the town name in here? And I say for your <coughs> main service page, no. <coughs> you could do that for a separate blog page. Um, but the reason I'd say no is Google's clever enough to, to work out where you are because you've got your address. Um, I would always put, have we got it here? I would always put your address on every page um, because then you get more chance of Google working out where you are. So I'd always have it on the right hand side or in the footer. Um, and so if you targeted just the word work accident Bristol or work accident Exeter or Plymouth, um, you'd be better targeting that page, but it then will put more people off if you can service people across England, Wales, UK, wherever you are. Um, then that does sort of highlight, okay, this might not be for me. So not on your main service pages. I'll go wide, let Google work out where you are and give you the traffic in that area if you do the rest of this right. Um, 
So looking at this, I would be calling this page Act Center Works Listers. So if we were starting from scratch, the URL would be forward slash accident accident at works listers, and then other pages dealing with work accidents would sit below that. The title tag would be accident works listers. The word accident works listers has to feature in the first paragraph. And yes, you might say that's a bit tricky, um, but it's well worth it because that's what Google tells you to do. And then ideally you'd have an image here, which would have an alt tag and title tag with accident works listers. Um, and away you go. And then what I'd finally do is I'd click the add button um, and click add it to uh, rank tracker. And then you can um, start targeting that um, search. To, and Ahrefs will run a, if you keep it, it'll run a monthly um, check to see how you're doing and has it improved and it'll tell you if you're getting any traffic. Um, so whenever I've chosen a keyword, um, I'll put it into a spreadsheet, um, the date it was added, I'll make sure it's optimized using all of the tools, which I'll show you how to do elsewhere in this section. Um, and then I'll rank track it to see how it does each month and looking at the rank tracking performance to see if it's improving, see if it's working. If it's close to the top 10, then obviously more content. Um, could get you up into the top three when you start to get some traffic. So for, for keyword research for your services pages, be obvious, get the word law firm or solicitor or lawyer in there. Um, don't try and go after local traffic, go after national, let Google work out where you are and send you the local stuff. Um, and once you've chosen your keyword, um, put it in your title tag, description tag, your alt and title tag of your images um, and um, or your Yoast plugin for, for getting the most to make sure you tick all of the, the Yoast screen boxes and away you go and you do that for every page of your website. So above I showed you how to do the SEO audit using uh, Screaming Frog. That showed you um, that perhaps some of your pages haven't got title tags, description tags in. So you go through this process um, one page at a time and, and away you go. You know, that that's the way to do it for your service pages. Like I say, I'll show you how to do some longer tail keyword search terms, but for now, um, for your services pages, that's how each page should be set up. Um, if you decide to change your site structure, I wouldn't if it's existing, if you're starting a new section, great. But if you would change this one, for example, and make that accident of works listers, the main page, um, you would have to redirect 301, redirect this page to the new page to make sure you didn't lose any of the traffic that's already getting there. Um, so yeah, that's that's really important to do. If you want to check whether a, a page is getting any um, traffic before you change it, before you change the keywords you're targeting, the, the final thing you should do before making massive changes is copy the URL, go back to Ahrefs Site Explorer, type in the URL you've just copied and it will just look at this page and say, okay, what's this page doing? Go to organic keywords and see if it's getting any traffic. Um, farm accidents, interestingly, but we're in position 24, 38, 50, 51. Work accidents down uh, up to 41. But I would say there's, there's no traffic there. We're not inside the top 10 for anything. So it's quite safe to change the focus of that page to accident works listers. If we were in the top 10 or even top 20 for a good search term like work accidents, then I wouldn't change the focus of that. I'd go after this one and just focus all in on work accidents. But because it's so far out, it's unlikely to get any results. I change the term of it and go for accident works listers because then when someone lands on there, they know who we are, what we do and how we can help. Any questions, please use the box below. Nick Jervis, More Clients Academy with Marketing for Solicitors.